Combining resistors. Here we have a resistor uh, or a circuit uh, full of resistors. Uh, some are in parallel, some are in uh, series, and we have to figure out what the total equivalent resistance of this circuit is going to be. And this is uh, a problem that gave some of us issues when we did our uh, we did this on our most recent quiz, and again on the homework uh, and re the review packet. So let's go through this, uh, and I'll show you how we redraw these circuits. Again, we want to do what's in series first. Okay, so we're going to be looking at these two. We've got to combine this whole parallel circuit down into one equivalent resistance that we will then add to eight. Uh, and then we need to com uh, combine all of these two down into one, and then we'll add that to um, eight also, or the sum of, of what's left. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is um, redraw this. and. Uh, it takes a, a second to do that, but we're going to combine it into uh, these resistors into this, and we do that. Since they're in series, we add them together. So 20 ohms is the resistance of this line. Here is by itself, so that's still 10 ohms. And then down here, 5 and 5 is, uh, is 10 ohms. All right. So we have 20, 10, 10. And over here, we still have 8. And over here, we still have... Um, 2 and 4. Okay, so we'll go over here now and, and keep going. Uh, but first we want to combine all of this parallel stuff into one single resistor. So we say 1 over REQ, this is the equation for um, combining parallel resistors in a circuit, is going to be 1 over 20, 1 over 20, Divide, or plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10. So 1 over 20 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is going to equal, um, what is that, 5 twentieths, um, which is going to be uh, 5 twentieths. And then we say REQ equals the flip of that, the reciprocal, 20 over 5. So that's going to equal 4. So if we uh, combine all these, we say that the total equivalent resistance of this parallel circuit is 4 ohms. Okay? Now we'll redraw that in a second, but first let's do this. Here we have for this one, 1 over REQ equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Alright, which is 3 over 4. Right? 2 fourths plus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. RQ, REQ then is going to equal 4 over 3, which is 1.3 ohms. So this is the equivalent resistance of all of this. This is the equivalent resistance of all of this. We still have 8 ohms in series in the middle. So if we redraw this, it will look like this. Three resistors in series. And uh, the first one is 4 ohms. Second one is uh, 8 ohms, that's just this, transferred over there, and then 1.3 ohms for the last one, and we just add those together since they're now in series. So the total equivalent resistance of this whole thing is 12 plus 1.3, 13.3 ohms, total resistance. Notice that even though the, the resistors, many of them uh, are very high, uh, the to because they're in parallel, remember, the, the more resistors in parallel, the lower the overall equivalent resistance uh, because the, um, the, there's more path, uh, pathways for electrons to travel so they don't get as congested or slowed down uh, by certain um, locks and pathways or bottlenecks. Okay, equivalent resistance of this entire circuit is 13.3 ohms.